Laurie Strode, in my mind, is always the centerpiece of the Halloween franchise. For Laurie, her journey was complete. She gave it all, her heart, her soul, her blood. You saw the final girl finally face her fear of 40 years. But in order to continue the story, she has transferred the passion, the fierceness into her daughter and her granddaughter, with Lori in the center of it, wondering what the fuck happened. You and Allison should not have to keep running. You'll always be with us. Karen and Allison just went through this horrific thing where they lost so many people that they love. And on top of that, there's a certain level of guilt and shame for not believing Lori from the start. We all go through this process, but it's really, I just have to always remind myself, it's been like two hours. I kept saying to David Gordon Green, like, I've never had to play so many things at once, like, ever. This fear, this loss, grief. People always like, why do bad things happen to good people? And this is kind of a situation where, what do good people do when bad things happen to them? We fight. We always fight. It's the same night. Like, my husband is dead, and my mom is dying, and my daughter's now missing, but the guy's still out there. We shot him in the face, burned him alive. A <laughs> lifetime of preparation, and for what? Karen, she's the voice of reason. She's the audience. She's us. She's, she's practical, trying to navigate a, a heightened situation. The three of us all together cannot stop Michael Myers. We're not equipped. There are authorities who are trained looking for him. You think you're the one that's going to find him? The relationships between parents and their offspring, you often see the yin and yang, the butting of heads. Lori's turned her daughter and her granddaughter into warriors. They now believe her. They now are on the same path that she is. A lot of the paranoia that they thought Lori had is, is real. Allison is an amalgamation of, like, both of those women. She has that sensitivity and understanding that Karen has, but she has that strength and survivor mentality that Lori has. He creeps, he kills, he goes home. And that's where we're going. You watch her take matters into her own hands and goes after him. She's brave and courageous, and, and this one real badass. Gotcha. Judy and Andy are so good at dialing through those ranges of emotion. She is putting on a master class of acting in this. Michael Myers has haunted this town for 40 years. Tonight, we hunt him down. Andy. I think it was super exciting for her to take up knife and gun and hunt Michael Myers. She's definitely related to Lori. <laughs> and I think that's what the fans wanted to see after 2018, too. I think they were looking for a torch pass. I like to think of the Strode women like action heroes, driven, prepared for anything, and they're really tough. Both these women are fighters, and so I think it kind of engages something in both of them, the strength that was always there. 